Hello, and I'm so glad you're with me. It's Nancy Burt Priest. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, this is my email, my website, and I can't believe it's January 2023. Here's my January host code, Facebook business page, YouTube channel, and Pinterest. Um, I am very excited because we are now into the January to April mini catalog, as well as celebration. If you're um, one of my customers, you'll be getting them soon. If you are not, if you don't come to my classes, or you're not one of my customers and you would like to purchase something um, from me, please let me know and your catalog is free. So I get to open it um, and it's got some wonderful things, but we're going to focus on these cute, adorable owls today. We're also going to be using, and you can see there's some amazing things in here, some Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. You get 48 12, um, of four each of 12 double-sided designs, and it's gorgeous. Um, so we're going to work with two color palettes today. This is also phenomenal. We haven't, don't worry, I'll be showing you things out of this also. Um, but for today, we're going to start with our cute little owls. And I am um, going to show you what I started with first. And actually, I'm going to put this out in case you want to take a uh, screenshot. This is called a double joy fold card. And you open it up. Joy folds, you just kind of open up like this. This is a double one, so it has a little bit of extra. And I am, um, I had showed it at a team meeting and somebody said, I left the back blank and um, one of my friends, Bev, said, you know, I think it needs an embossing folder in the back. And boy, was she right. I really like using this embossing folder in the back. And all the paper you see is from that Dandy Designs. So um, this is the orange versions, Mango Melody. I said this reminded me of some of the clothes I wore in the 70s. Um, so really fun. I colored um, with blends. I used crumb cake blends for the owl and I had a little bit of the, um, what is that? What did I use on that? Um, Parakeet Party, that's what I did. Um, so I used Crumb Cake, Parakeet Party, Dark, I used the blends, Dark pa Pumpkin Pie, golly gee, um, Dark Fresh Freesia, and Dark Pale Papaya. So that is the, um, orange version, and I'm going to make with you a blue version today using the background is um, balmy blue, some more of that dandy design paper. And I colored this one in gray and I realized I didn't color his eyes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna color his eyes in light Bermuda Bay. It just dawned on me, I didn't do that. So let's give him a little bit of an eye here. You gotta have a little bit of an eye make it more fun. Okay, I like that better. So let me show you, here is the information, but we'll start out one part at a time. And I have a ton of blends. Um, crumb cakes, for this one I'm using the um, slates. Um, I When I have a class with my customers, I put a lot of them out. For small coloring like this, I tend to use the smaller end. So um, that is what we're doing. I did pre-stamp, but let me show you what you're going to need. Let me get it all over here. So the first thing is you need a base, which is eight and a half by four and a quarter. So what you do, I'm just going to grab a handy piece of cardstock here. So this is Smoky Slate. Um, eight and a half by 11 is how it comes. So when you put it in your paper trimmer, you put it in this way and cut two four and a quarter pieces. So that's how this one is cut. 
and it is scored at three inches, okay? So it opens like that. Then you need a piece that is 10 and a half, um, which is just a half inch short because it's by 11, so you have to just cut off a half inch. And it's by three, and you score it by at three and a half and seven, and I'll give you a hint. You can score it three and a half, put it in the other way, three and a half. Now, what I did, and it seemed like a good idea, is I um, put it in and I folded it um, a certain way. But you know what? I might use a little bit different DSP. Let me change it up just a little bit and try a different grouping. Um, like I say, they're all really cool. Um, I'm going to keep this. I could do the other side if I chose. Ooh, maybe I'll try that. Um, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the DSP in the three equal parts. Um, so you can do it however you want. You can have the stripes up. You can have the dots. You can do whatever you choose. Um, so I'm so glad to be back with you. We started out the new year with a little bit of um, under the weather there, but we are all feeling better, thank goodness. And I'm so glad to be back with you. Um, and I'm so excited about Celebration and the new mini. Okay, so I've got this piece, which is my base. I got this. Now I used the diamond embossing folder um, which is in the back of your annual catalog. And I really like um, that idea from my friend Beth said, you know what, you need an embossing folder. So the one that I'm using, see if you find it quicker than I do, is this one, the gingham embossing folder. Um, it just I don't know, it just added a little bit of fun touch to the back because other than other, otherwise it's kind of plain, I guess. Oops, I knew that one was gonna go. Okay, so this is four by five and a quarter and I ran it through and embossed it with the gingham embossing folder. So we've got this part now I'm gonna bring um, my DSP. I tend, I love this pattern, but you know what? Let's go for the gusto and do it all in a blue. Do it a little bit different. Um, oops, that one's done. I picked up the wrong one, didn't I? Um, let me see, is this one done too? No, this one's still got, I gotta clean this out. It's got cardstock in it. So let's try something different. It's what I always tell people. You know, there is no wrong or right way. Just have fun. It's DSP. You can do anything you want. Um, there is no wrong. Whatever it is you want to do. Okay. So now I've got these two pieces, which are the two four by two and three quarter. These pieces are the two and three quarter by three and a quarter. You notice you need three of them. Now, when I fold this, here I have it straight out. I'm gonna fold it over and then back. And if it's not exactly right, you can kind of, you know, if you got crazy on your score lines, just kind of make it fit. There we go. Because you want it to open like that. Now, I'm gonna put some adhesive. I'm using the seal. And before I put it down, what I do is I look and get it lined up as best I can. You can use your grid paper. You can use whatever. I'm an eyeballer. You can do whatever you'd like. And now we have that opening beautifully. I have a piece of white, which is two and a half by three. I used party puffins. I don't know why I like that. Happy birthday. It just looks kind of fun. And this is two and a half by three. I used black to stamp happy birthday. And then I'm gonna close my card up and I'm going to put some 
dimensionals on my cute little owl. I have different gems that I put out when I have classes for my people so that they can choose what they want. And here's the little owl. So that is kind of a cute little card. Lots of different ways to do these cards. Um, so I hope you enjoy this cute little owl. Oh gosh, I forgot his eyes again. I'm gonna have to color those in. And this wonderful paper. Um, celebration only goes to February 28th. It only comes once a year. Um, usually the papers sell out and probably that owls will sell out too because they're real cute. Um, so if you think you would like to order, you order $50, you get to choose from some of the celebration items for free or you can do $100. Um, you can go in with a friend and, and, you know, figure out how you want to split it. All sorts of great ideas. Um, so we are only having one celebration this year. Last year we had two. This year we're having one. So I hope that you decide um, to order. If you'd like to order from me, I'd love to be your demonstrator. The other thing I'm going to share about, it's a great time to join Stampin' Up. Some people join just for the discount. They don't want to do classes or videos or anything else. Great time to join. There are lots of specials going on right now. I'd love to have you be a part of my team. Feel free, if you are interested, to connect with me on email. If you want to talk to me about becoming a demonstrator, um, you can try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, you still get to keep all the goodies. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. And I'm hoping you're having a great new year. Take care.